Hello everybody, what is up? My name is King Spinach, and welcome back to my Destiny Hard Mode Titan walkthrough, where we play the entire game on the hardest dif difficulty available. In this mission, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing a strike. So, uh, strike. We're going to be doing the Cerberus Ve 3 one, where we fight Valus to Ark. Now, um, at the end of this strike, we're going to get a 3600 XP bonus, I think, or a 3000 XP bonus, whatever it is. It's going to take up a chunk of what we have left before we hit level 20. Now, this bounty, which I'm 100% certain we're going to get. Yeah, we're 135 tiers on Olympus. Um, 65 tiers. We're going to kill 65 enemies. We are most certainly going to get this. Uh, but I... And and how much XP is that? I That's what I wanted to check. 2,500. So that's not too much of an XP boost. It might get us up to maybe where the 7 is on my Grimoire score. Um, but we're trying, we're hoping that this mission pushes us up to level 20, so that way, um, we can equip some of our better gear, uh, maybe our light level will go up to 21 or 22. We've stepped into a war with a cabal on Mars, so let's get to taking out their command, one by one. And it'll make the rest of those three remaining story missions easier. can gather, he commands the siege dancers from an Imperial land tank outside of Rubicon. He's well protected. But with the right team, we can punch through those defenses, take this beast out, and break their grip on Freehold. Let's find access to their system. See if we can track down Valis Tara. Alright. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Oh man, we kill this guy? We only have to kill 45 things to get 45 tiers. Man, it's gonna be so easy. Oh, he punched him. The other guy's ghost is doing it. I'm just gonna get prepped, come over here. I've established a link. We can track him and his guard. Now, Valus to Ark is quite possibly my least favorite strike in the game. Probably because every single time I open up the strike playlist, I have to fight him, and he's probably the toughest. Well, he is the lat. He is the toughest. He's the last available strike, so I mean, he should be the toughest. So, thanks for that save, interceptor. Thanks for that save. Would have died. I would have died. Be on the lookout for Mr. Jesus. Mr. Jesus and General Luigi are both par level. So, uh, this strike won't be a breeze, but it'll be, uh, hopefully, really, really easy. Definitely will not be, uh, a super simple, like, walk in the park. Definitely gonna be kinda tough. Alright, I don't know what's happening, but I totally lost idea of where I was, and, um, I needed shield. Get out. I needed that shield. I totally freaked out. I had no idea where I was, where I was going. Oh, I was so lost. No, what a... What a super. That was awesome. All 
Alright, now more things are gonna come from over there. I definitely missed that grenade, but we're gonna act act like I didn't and say that it's there to uh, stop anybody from coming into that room. Yeah. Nice. Alright, this team is good. I like it. I am running out of ammo, though. It seems to be a common theme. Uh, however, in the next part, I do like to use an good interceptor. News. So, oh, we haven't even used our new rocket launcher part. yet. We, we should we should definitely use it. Maybe we'll use it on the Goliath. Can I get some ammo? Man, I got nothing. Oh, there we go. There's some. Alright, at least now I have some ammo. We're gonna... I like to drive the interceptor here and just kind of wreak havoc. It's really good for getting rid of um, the Centurion shields because it does solar damage. So it's just a good way to assist your teammates. And our tears are done. So there you go. That was quite simple. Come on, I'm trying to hit him from here. Alright, now we're gonna back up and wait for the uh, ship. Yeah. See? That's what I was waiting for. And then as soon as those dudes come out, I'm not going to be sparing any time. Just keep shooting. Okay, I guess I'll take down the minions. My team seems to be pretty good at taking down the uh, the big guys, so uh, I'll work on these fellas. Nice. Okay, we took care of him pretty quickly. One thing I like to do is aim and try to hit the roof. That just kind of... Oh, we're not going to get him from inside the interceptor. Hey, there we go. I'm picking up another one of his lieutenants heading this way. And we don't have a sniper rifle, so this part's going to be pretty hard. But we do have a lot of rockets, so the Goliath tank shouldn't be too, too bad. And worst comes to worst, we can just run into the... Um, Interceptor and try to use that to take him out. It won't be impossible though. He's in a tank. Oi. That did some damage.
That does a lot of damage, actually. Come to think of it. Oh! Okay. Oof. I think I need to be a little closer. Nope. Who's shooting at me? Oh, this guy. Took care of him. That was such a good grenade. Oh, well, now I'm out of ammo. Again. So, you know, that's cool. Pick these up, though. All right, let's go get to Aris. I like how fast this interceptor is. It's keeping up with me. <laughs> We're racing. <laughs> Oh, oh, lag. They're lagging everywhere. Oh no. Alright, punch. Nope. Shotgun. I hate that we're running out of ammo so much. We did get some heavy weapon ammo though from that guy, which is good because we're gonna need heavy weapon ammo for Valis. He is a pain. It's mostly just a test of endurance with him. The fact that you can stay alive for as long as you can is what's difficult. It's not that he's... Well, it's just because he's just pure damage. He's a big target. He's, his crit spot's pretty difficult to hit. Um, he's just a big target. Nice. Well, that all just went pretty well. Now, there's two guys right around here, so we're going to round the corner. Now, normally, I'd take out a sniper rifle and uh, start aiming at the guy so that when he pops out, I can just snipe him from afar, and I would stay over there. So that's what I would recommend you guys do. But at the, remember, at the moment, yeah, as soon as he comes out, he's invincible for a little bit. And he even gets a couple of free shots off on you. Look. See? You get some free shots on you. Alright, now he can take some damage. Go. 
that. And launch one of those at him. That's all we got, unfortunately. But it'll have to do. Now something I also like to do is back up so that his machine gun just can't hit me, like back up on these upper platforms, and then just keep shooting. See, his machine gun can't hit me. Problem is, uh, most of the time you'll get people coming in from behind you. But you can take out. They're not hard. You just gotta be careful. That'll do some damage. Oh, 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 and watch out for that thing, because that thing sucks. Is he on the move? The only reason I keep killing all the little guys and not focus on him entirely is because uh, I want heavy weapon ammo. So that's what they're for. He's so strong that they realize that they need to put in like a bunch of waves of enemies to supply you with all the heavy weapon ammo that you could ever possibly need. see what my boots can upgrade with. What is it going to give me? Oh, more defense? I will take. And I think from where our XP is at right now, I want to say that we basically have hit level 20 once we complete this strike. Which is awesome. So that's super useful. Super cool. Ah, okay. So after he walks back and forth a couple of times, he gets to the point where he'll start, like, coming up onto the platforms and coming and getting you. So he's coming for us. Now, why am I down here, you might ask? I need more ammo, again. Such a struggle. Uh, there's a Ward of Dawn over there. That's good. Gives us some time to, uh, flank around. Be careful, that chain gun can tear you apart. So, that's just something to worry about. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's special weapon ammo. These are just orbs of light. This sucks. Alright, I need to get more stuff. Got nothing. Ah, here we go. There's some stuff. There's also another orb here, which I'll pick up. Happily. Oh, did he kill him? He killed him. Awesome. 
That was nice and easy. Hey, we hit level 20. Maximum level. Oh, amazing. We hit level 20 without even cashing in that bounty. So that bounty was unnecessary, but I'm glad we got it anyway. Woo! I'm excited. That was awesome. This is where it gets, this is where the going gets, I don't know if it's going to get tougher, but it's definitely going to get a lot more fun. And now we can get shaders so Tony can finally look like Iron Man. I like how that's probably what I'm most excited about <laughs> out of hitting level 20, making Tony look like Iron Man. I've got my priorities straight, guys. Don't worry. So we're going to head over to the tower uh, first just to check our vault for some shaders. And all along the way, we're going to equip all the gear that uh, we're going to equip. Light level unlocked, fight, better gear to level up. We've almost hit level 21 already, which is super cool. Heroic missions unlocked. All this stuff's getting unlocked. Uh, let's, um, we have some gear with us that's going to take us probably up to level 20, uh, 21 at least. So uh, head to the tower, get everything going there. You, nope, nope, just kidding. Man, that helmet gives us a lot of light. Are you better? You are better. You're better. Hit level 21. You're better. Hit level 22. Whew. Level 22. What a jump. What a jump. That's awesome. We're level 22. Ha <laughs> ha. This is super cool. That's like, that's, that's super duper cool. How equipping two pieces of gear just thrust us forward. Uh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But our top priority is um, getting to the vault and finding a shader that matches. And if there is not a shader that matches with Tony Stark, uh, we will go to... Oh, what are we going to get here? From the Postmaster. Hmm. For you. Hey, special delivery. Goodbye. We got Polar Oak and a Mode of Light. Now, Polar Oak um, does not look like at all like Tony Stark. So, I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're going to use it. Um, <laughs> I'll put it in the vault. I've got a bunch of shaders stocked up in there. Some of them are really nice. Some of them, I don't know why I kept them there, but, you know. Uh, this does arc damage, so we're going to keep it over the other one. Um, just because it's a little bit more specialized, so it'll help us in trickier situations. I'll upgrade that anyway. What do we got here? Oh, this is just the thing. Um... We already have Polar Oak, so I am going to get rid of it. Oh, I can't get rid of it, can I? I have to pick it up again. So I'll pick that up. This looks like a copy. Uh, none of these seem to have the red and yellow thing that I'm looking for. So first, let's delete both of these, because I don't want any duplicates. And let's go and find, a, find something for Tony Stark here. Grab the Guardian Outfitter. Try to get something nice for Tony. Looking for something new? Before you buy, you can do it again. All right. All right then. Oh, oh man, nothing seems to be uh, nothing seems to be working. But that emblem does that not look like the arc reactor emblem? Hmm, that kind of looks like Tony's arc reactor, except his is circular. But these all seem to be, these seem, this whole, uh, this thing seems to be pretty, you know. What is, you can preview your colors? That's not Tony Stark at all. What about this? This could be, that's pretty, that's actually not that bad. That's pretty close. Let's go with it. Under City. That's what we're using. That's pretty, that's pretty close. Would you guys say? Look at that. That's much closer than I uh, originally would have anticipated. There we go, guys. Tony Stark. We have finally created Tony Stark. He's in the image. Oh, that's perfect. It matches so well. Oh, I love it. I love it. And we hit light level 22. This is a huge step for us. Um, I'll see you guys all in the next episodes where we finish off the final missions of the game and finish our, finish our playthrough. So I'm really looking forward to that. See you guys all there. Peace.